This is our video number two about the crimes of Hamas. This is just an answer for those who they defend what it's called Hamas. This is 14 years old in the news. He is a suicide bomber. Now, if somebody said to you, the Israeli soldier, he did shoot a 14 years old kid, you will say, man, those Israeli are a bunch of cowards. Correct? Well, if this 14 years old is going to kill 50 or 100 of your people, of your family, I don't know what you yourself you will do. When Hamas, they send kids to do killing, the question is, that kid who is going to kill, are you really allowed to defend yourself against that kid? And don't tell me that kid is not powerful, all days is over. He have a suicide build, one bush in his finger, he can kill at least 100 people if they are around him. So what the difference between someone he is a kid and someone he is a 20 years old? If both of them they have one target and the target is to kill you. And do you have different way to stop him? Like in here they were lucky. The kid himself he was afraid to die. He told them you know what I have a suicide belt and I'm afraid to die. You see he's asking for help he's saying I am afraid to die. They told him go and do what you will go to heaven you will go to Allah look at him Look at him, he is, look, you know, the jacket, the jacket is like a coat for him. Then what you will see in TV, that this is an Israeli soldier, is shooting a kid. And then, those dummies, Western, they will say, oh my God, those Israeli, they are really evil. Look what they are doing. They are shooting at kid. Then we will move to the front point. With NBC News in depth tonight, it is a story of a young woman and a dream. And while this story ends well, it is a chilling tale at the same time. That's because this young woman's dream was to become a martyr by killing herself and others. At the center of this story is a young Palestinian woman. She had been given permission to come to Israel for badly needed medical treatment. At some point along the way, she developed another twisted and secret agenda. NBC's Martin Fletcher picks up the story. Until Monday, Wafa al-Bas seemed like an ordinary 21-year-old Palestinian from Gaza, on her way to an Israeli hospital scheduled for more treatment of severe burns from an accident. The doctors liked her, and she liked them. Did you save her life? I believe so, yes. <laughs> After six months treating her, Dr. Yuval Krieger and the nurses even got this thank you note from Wafa's family. The care, it says, was wonderful and warm. But then... She didn't come. I marked her as one of the people who didn't show up. It wasn't only the doctors expecting her. At the border with Gaza, soldiers had information a female suicide bomber was on the way. And then Wafa shows up with 20 pounds of bombs in her underpants. Soldiers order her to halt and undress. Desperate, Waffa pulls a detonator. She flinches. The moment caught in an army video camera. She expects to die, but no explosion. She tries again. Still, she lives. Furious, she screams in frustration. And the army blew the bomb up safely. If Waffa al had made it, this is where she would have come, the outpatients department of Soroka Hospital. Eight o'clock in the morning, normally there's about a hundred patients here. So what turned Wafa into a suicide bomber, who used the doctor's appointment to try to kill the doctor? I guess I was the target. <laughs> One explanation from Latifa, who met Wafa in the hospital. They talked daily for a month. After her terrible burns, Wafa's fiancé left her. She felt abandoned and ugly. She cried and said, I want to die. She said, someone give me a bomb. Wafa says the bomb came from militants from Al-Aqsa brigades. At home in Gaza, her mother cries. My child is sick, and they used her. 
Now Wafa's crying to her, but now I want to live, she says. Please forgive me. Don't put me in jail for life. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Martin Fletcher, NBC. We are back with NBC. Here we go again. This is telling you how ugly those uh, uh, terrorist group. This is a poor woman, young girl. She was engaged to somebody. He left her. She felt so desperate. As many, they go through things in their life. But right away there is somebody can use that opportunity for his own agenda. Killing this poor woman. Killing a team who saved her life. Imagine, you know, she is coming to the hospital where those people, they did save her life. She is not just going anywhere. She is, she is going, going to the hospital where those people, they treat her for six months and even for free. And you know, you will not see in any you know, TV anyone saying that Palestinian, they are getting their recovery from any kind of disease in Israeli hospital. No, what we will see that the Israeli are killing them. But if you look in here, you will see the opposite. How come we don't see that in TV? Because the world today is the world of hypocrites. The Muslims, they get the oil and everybody want to make them happy. Even Western TVs. Hypocrites. They want to show you what is making you excited because this is what the media is about. You know, it's a business. It's not good to show you, you know, the Israeli are nice. This is will not make any news for us. If we own a TV. If we own a TV, we have to make things exciting. How? We will show you things unbelievable. Unbelievable news is what people are looking for. Ugly news. And always, there is one target to go. The one is not a threat for those media TV. Because if you attack Islam... The Muslims will destroy you, you know. But if you attack the Israeli, there is no Jewish is going to kill you. If you go on the TV and say whatever you want about the Israeli, if you if you scream at them, if you do whatever you want, they will not send a suicide bomber. They will not kidnap you. They don't have a Zarqawi. This is the fact. So I want people to be honest when they speak about the Israeli. And ask yourself a question, why it's okay for those Hamas to kill Israeli child, but it's not okay for the Israeli to protect themselves. And as long those, you know, those Muslims, Hamas, they are using kids and little and females in their war. Why the Israeli, they cannot protect themselves from those children and those females? So what if they are children? If they have a suicide belt, they are killing machine. So what if she is a woman? If she have a suicide belt, she is a killing machine. And this Israeli have the right to live. Why people, they want to dance in the street for the death of a Jew? And why everybody getting angry for the death of a terrorist? Why we don't see around the world people going in the street when a suicide bomber go inside an Israeli Jewish wedding? Killing more than 60 to 70 people. Wedding party. Why? Because they are Jewish? Nobody care? Because the Quran says they are pigs and monkeys? Hypocrites. If you care for a human being, be fair. The same people who they are killing the Jew is the same one who is playing the game of a victim. If they are weak today, Remember what they did yesterday. But nobody have a memory these days. Christ is Lord. And follow with me with the coming video, please.